If you're looking for the best whitewater kayak, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Dagger Mamba 7.6 Whitewater Creeker Kayak. This Dagger Mamba 7.6 is a 7-foot 7-inch creek boat with a volume of 64 gallons. It has a planing hull and is designed to offer improved distribution and increased volume, speed, and control. The Mamba is a stable craft that can be ideal for a range of whitewater paddlers, including experienced creekers and beginners. This size of boat is designed to suit use up to medium-sized paddlers. In the cockpit, you will find Condor Ergo outfitting, including a rotomolded seat with leg lifters for increased comfort and thigh support. The adjustable hip pads and thigh braces can offer increased comfort and stability. The ratchet adjustable back band can also keep you feeling more secure inside your cockpit. The number two position is held by Dagger Nomad Whitewater Kayak. The Dagger Nomad is a small creek boat that is designed to handle serious whitewater. It features increased volume for added buoyancy and the hull is designed to improve speed and resurfacing, with added rocker for higher performance. The Yak features Condor Ergo outfitting in the cockpit, which benefits from having a ratchet adjustable back band and tank-style seating with a leg lifter for added support. For comfort and improved stabilizing, there is an adjustable bulkhead foot brace which features foam padding for buoyancy. The adjustable thigh braces and adjustable hip pads can also improve comfort. The Nomad has a volume of 73 gallons and is designed for smaller paddlers, but there are different sizes available to suit different size paddlers. Moving on to the next at number 3 with Riot Kayaks Magnum 72 Whitewater Kayak. This Magnum 72 kayak is designed to optimize performance on whitewater creeks. This 7-foot 11-inch boat features increased volume behind the cockpit to help you push over holes, improving your speed and maneuverability. It also benefits from having sufficient rocker for optimal resurfacing. The cockpit features a floating backrest with a unity seating system for comfort and support. There is also an adjustable foot brace, as well as shore grip thigh braces. For increased buoyancy, there are front and rear flotation bags. The Magnum 72 Yak has a volume of 72 gallons and is designed for medium-sized paddlers. The number four position is dominated by Air Tributary Tomcat Solo Inflatable Kayak. The Air Tributary Tomcat Inflatable Kayak is a high-performance inflatable boat that is designed for a solo paddler. It's made from durable 1000 denier PVC with air cell vinyl bladders and features three air chambers to maintain buoyancy in the event of a puncture. The Tomcat comes with an inflatable seat. But if you're looking for a backrest with more support, you may find you need to upgrade your seat. It has a high weight capacity, which could mean you could bring your dog if they wear a life jacket, or you could load it with a couple of dry bags for a slower paced river trip. It's designed to handle a variety of white water with rocker in the bow and stern and good maneuverability. The number five position is held by Dagger Nomad 9.0 Large Whitewater Kayak. The Dagger Nomad 9.0 Large is designed to accommodate larger whitewater paddlers. It is a wider boat with a larger cockpit and increased volume, 96 gallons to suit paddlers up to 265 pounds. This durable creek boat benefits from having a stable hull with added rocker and optimized deck shape for easier resurfacing. There are also grab handles for security and a safety step out wall. The cockpit is crafted for comfort with an adjustable back band, adjustable hip pads, and precision adjustable thigh braces. There's also leg lifter feature in the seat for improved support. Next at number six, we have Dagger Phantom Whitewater Creeker Kayak. The Dagger Phantom is designed to suit a range of paddlers with optimized volume of 89 gallons for improved performance and fit for paddlers of different sizes. The Phantom is built to offer speed, maneuverability, and tracking with its rocker hull. It's designed to turn quickly even when edging, so that you can easily navigate through rapids without losing momentum. The Yak features an adjustable bulkhead foot braces that has foam padding for increased buoyancy. The adjustable thigh braces and hip pads can help you stabilize yourself comfortably, while the adjustable seat back and leg lifter can help you to maintain an optimized position in the boat. At the seventh position of our list, we have Advanced Elements Attack Whitewater Inflatable Kayak. This Advanced Elements Attack Inflatable Kayak can be a great option if you're looking for a more portable whitewater yak. 
This 9 foot 6 inch craft is made from 840 denier PVC and features three air chambers for security and durability. It has a wide, stable hull that can be useful for beginners, as well as added rocker for improved white water performance. It also features self bailing ports to help drain excess water during white water runs. This lightweight inflatable boat has an adjustable seat and adjustable thigh straps to help you stabilize yourself and sit comfortably while paddling. Another feature of this inflatable yak is the covered storage deck at the rear, which can be ideal if you plan to bring along a dry bag for longer trips. The number 8 position is held by Mamba Creeker 7.6. The Mamba Creeker combines maneuverability with the durability you'll need to throw yourself down the steepest and most twisting water courses. Its stiffened and reinforced plastic hull can take a few collisions without cracking, and the added rigidity makes the Mamba easier to control. Helping with this control is the Mamba's new fully adjustable seat, making sure you are both comfortable and fully in control. The Mamba has a planing hull, which allows it to slide across the water and lets you slide around those tight obstacles. The volume is concentrated into the bow of the boat, keeping the nose up during drops and giving it plenty of pop to pull you out of the hole at the bottom of the fall. Storage is handled by a rigid storage tray that further adds to the hull's stiffness. Moving on to the next and number 9 with Dagger Jitsu Kayak 6.0. The Dagger Jitsu is an excellent playboat with all the agility you'll need to quickly master tricks your nearest park and play. It's designed for maximum maneuverability with hard chines and a planing hull allowing it to skip over the water. At a diminutive 6 feet in length, it is responsive to paddler input and easy to control. It's lightweight too, at only 38 pounds, so carrying it to the river won't be a problem. The downside of all these excellent playboat features is the Jitsu's lack of downriver performance. Its short length and planing hull means it won't be picking up any real speed and tracking over long distances and going to be a problem. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Perception Joride 10 Whitewater Kayak. If you're new to whitewater kayaking, the Perception Joride 10 is probably the best whitewater kayak for beginners. While it might be less playful than its competition, it offers excellent stability and control while you're in the rapids. In addition, its versatile design allows you to also use it for recreational paddling in calm water. At 10 feet long, the Joride 10 offers a good balance between speed and maneuverability. The hull is made from polyethylene with excellent resistance not only to abrasion and impacts but also UV damage from sun exposure. We should also mention that it comes with bulkheads on both sides that add buoyancy and prevent the kayak from flooding and sinking if too much water gets inside. Despite being an all-around model, the Perception Joride performs really well in slower and moderately fast rapids. This is mostly due to its hull design that keeps the kayak stable even when water hits it on the sides. In terms of volume, it's pretty even on both ends of the kayak to ensure good stability even if you're inexperienced in whitewater. That's all for today. We upload outdoor products review videos in every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and, and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.